hello guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is on lace measurement okay so someone actually asked for this video so i'll be doing this video to show you the different sizes of laces how to get them when cutting your lace okay so let's go straight to the video <music> Okay, the materials you'll be needing for this video, for this whole work, are your measuring tape for taking, you know, measurements. You need any tool you can use to rule a line, then your pen and your scissors, a pair of scissors and a lace. Okay, first thing first, when you hear someone tells you they want to make a closure or you want to make a closure for yourself and they tell you, please, I need a two by four or a two by six or a three by four three by six four by four any size of closure this should be the first thing that comes to your mind okay so the first number you hear is the front line of the closure okay then the second number you hear is the depth of the closure okay so let's just say we're making a two by four closure okay so a two by four closure what did i say the first number should be your what should be the front of the front line of the closure okay so what you have to do is to what you measure your two going this way so let's just say this is your one this is your two you have two inch here one and two okay this is your two inch so the front of the closure is the wideness of the closure the first number you hear is the wideness of that closure okay then the second number you hear is the depth of the closure that's how deep the inside the closure is okay so this is what you have to do this is your two then let's say we're making a two by four so you take your tape put it on this line that you have your two and you count your four okay so you're counting your four you're counting one two three sorry you're counting your one two three four four inch okay that's your four inch okay so you measure your four inch here you measure your four inch here then you just join it together please make sure you use a ruler or anything you'll be able to use your id card your atm card anything you can use to rule a line to actually what meets join these points together okay i'm just trying to do this so this video doesn't really take too much of our time okay for you to just get what you're supposed to get what you're supposed to know about this okay so let's just say this is a two by four closure if you say it's a two by six they want to make you, you you calculate your you mark your two here then your six here if it's a four by four same thing you do okay if it's a four by four you measure your four here and your four here then you go in your four here from your two you measure your four then you join all in all the points together so that's like the measurement for taking a two by a four by four if it's a five by five always the first number you hear is here if it's a five by six is here if it's a six by six it's here then here if it's a six by eight your six is here your eight is inside the first number you hear always comes what at the front line of the closure if it's a 13 by four if you're doing a 13 by four this is what you do okay so you measure your 13 you measure your 13 this is your one then you measure your 13 here you measure your 13 here okay then your four from your 13 you measure your four okay you understand so the inside of the closure is how deep the closure is then the first number you hear is your front the second number is inside of the closure that's how for you to get the size of a closure okay this is actually called the blueprint to making a closure you understand but we're making this we're, we're working on late this measurement you understand so i'm going to be going just into doing that right now but i wanted to show you this first so you understand the numbering of how lace measurements works okay 
So you get your lace. Okay, this is your lace you have. In cutting your lace, okay, you know you have to follow the lines, the grill, grease on this lace. Hope you can see. If you can see, there are lines going this way, and there are lines. The lace facing this way. These are the lines, okay? So you have to face this lace this way. It has to be what facing the line. There are no lines this way coming down. There are lines going this way. So this, this is the right way to place this lace, okay? Because this is where the lines are. So let's just say we're cutting a two by four closure. Like I said, the first number you hear, someone can actually come and tell you, please, I want to make a three by six closure. What do you do? You just cut your three because the first number you hear is your three, right? So the second number is your six. So you just measure your three here, then your six inside. You understand? So let's cut a three, a two by four closure. Okay. So this is a two by four closure, right? You take your lace, your what did you call it? Your tape, sorry, and measure your two. In doing this, please you can make use of a marker or an eye pencil for you to be able to see properly on your lace line. Okay, so in making this, in making the closure, you know we have the front line that has that excess lace for for pinning that when you want to sew. Then you have the sides. You understand for you to either fold your lace or when you're done ventilating on non folded lace you can sew around it so i would advise you leave an inch in front leave an inch at the side at the back and this other side too so let's just say we're making a two by four let's just say this is the front part of the closure right remember you're supposed to leave an inch here so let's just say this is where you're leaving your inch yes here is your one inch right so this is where you start your measurement from you start from here and measure your words your two your one two okay this is your one two right then you still add what extra lace here for the sewing at the side you understand for the sewing at this other side too so your lace your your sorry you're leaving one inch here the one two then you're leaving you're leaving this one inch i mean to say okay so your actual size of closure is this lace this two one and two but your one inch here is for excesses one inch here is for excesses so all together you're cutting four for your front do you understand then to do your depth this is what you do we're doing a two by four right so this is where the two starts right so you take your lace place it on your four you remember this is the one inch this is the one inch so you place it on your on your four Actually, we are cutting four inches. So you place it on your four this way. Okay. Then you count your one, two, three, four. Remember, we're still leaving SS at the back. You understand? Like an allowance at the back to sew to. So you count what? One, two, three, four, five. You mark it here. You come the same way. Okay. You come the same way and mark from this your one to mark your five. So you're going to be cutting around this places you've marked okay your excesses here for sewing and allowance this is your two inches excesses for sewing okay so you cut your lace from here but make sure you be, you're very careful to cut it in a straight line okay i'm just doing this to show you that you know, so that's what you're supposed to do okay so when you cut and reach here you still cut this side of the lace so this is the lace you have right you have this lace your two by four okay so that's how you cut your lace okay so imagine this is your two by this year to year is your two by four your two two right your two inches then you have to form your two inches come to your four right so you have um from your two you have your four inches let's just say this is your two inch you have your four inches here so you join this line you're joining here okay then you're joining here 
please make your lines to be very straight okay i don't want this video to be too lengthy that's why i'm trying to explain it this way okay so you join this line you join here okay you just have to have it in mind that your two here your two inches here and your four here is where you're venting when you where you have your blueprint okay when you put it here you have sorry excuse me you have what to vent on okay but this side of the laces you have are for ss is for sewing down this way is where you pin it to the front of the mannequin head your canvas head then here to here to here is for sewing down so it's very simple knowing your different sizes of closure pieces is very simple you just have to what have in mind that the first number that comes to your mind is the front line of the closure while the second number you hear this inside of the closure that's how you get to know different sizes of closure you can go to your wig store any wig store wig to store that they sell laces you tell them to give you a folded lace a two by four lace a four by four lace any lace at all but if you have this at home and you want to cut it this is what you do you have to measure having in mind for the front line the first number you hear the second line is the second number you hear the inside of the closure okay so i brought this list to show you what i'm trying to say okay it's actually a customer's hair but i want to show you how this is okay so this lace has been cut out after wigging remember the places i said for sewing do you understand this lace I don't know how they sew the hair before. This is the folding, but the folding is out. I don't know how they sew this hair before. Maybe from the losing is what became of the hair because what the lady folded place is, is getting um, bad, I guess so. Okay, so imagine we want to measure this lace now. Okay, so if they say this is a two by six lace, so your two is here, you understand? Like I told you, your two is in front. Okay, your two is in front here. And your six, your six is the depth of the closure. Okay, your six is the depth of the closure. So that's the simple thing you have to do. Just having numbers in mind, then you can measure any size of closure you want to work on. Okay, so that's it on closure measurements. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Actually, the person that requested for this video. I hope this video was helpful to you and for any other person that is finding difficulty in taking measurements of place closure pieces. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video. Check in on me next time. I love you all. Bye.